Good morning, this is Ogle's Fish Room. I keep promising to do a short video and it never seems to work out. I'm a little long-winded, so uh, today I'm going to try to move along quickly. And please let me know in the comments if I succeeded or uh, failed horribly. This is my 75. I'm doing this because I've gone through and cleaned most of my tanks, uh, scraped the walls of algae, and uh, kind of moved some plants and rocks around and things. This one has gotten uh, pretty much a plant remake. Uh, this is the 75. Got a lot more plants in here since I've found a new home for the uh, filamentosa barbs, which are just stripping my plants. Let me... Okay, I'm going to do this standing up for a second and just do a sweep of the whole room. Uh, this is a row of 10-gallon uh, column tanks. The brand name is uh, Top Fin. Uh, they used to not be too badly priced, and, but I think with everything else in the world, uh, man, they're going up. Uh, this is four of them. This is a two and a half here. Uh, this that was an Aquion uh, Aquion uh, two two point five gallon tank. Uh, I'll get down and show a different view in a second. Right now, I just want to do a scan of the room. This is another column tank. This is a ten that I have uh, recently gotten a new bed on the left there. I'll show him a close up of him in a minute. Uh, and I put a, a corrugated plastic uh, divider in that I made myself. Uh, it's much cheaper. Uh, if you have the patience to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, over here is a 20 long. Also with the divider in the middle. So I have a bed on each side, along with some community fish. This is a 5 gallon. Uh, also a top fin, but it's called a backlit. I did not like the backlighting. I'm sure some people would, but as far as I'm concerned, it made everything a silhouette. You couldn't see anything. <laughs> Uh, it was pretty interesting, you know, different, uh, but I didn't care for it. Okay, now, let's see. I'm trying to keep myself out of that mirrored, uh, mirrored uh, closet door there because uh, that would be rather scary for you all. You might create uh, heart attacks or something. Anyway, this is a 20 uh, tall, and it's on a rack with a 15 tall. Basically, when I say tall... Uh, this is designed, the, the bottom perimeter is the same as a 10 gallon. Um, they're, let's say, 20 inches long, 10 and a half back, uh, 12 inches high. And in this particular case, that's what a 10 is. In this particular case, it's the same dimensions except for the height. This is 15 inches high, this is 20 inches high, but other than that, it's the same. Okay, we're going to pause for a second. Okie dokie, we're back. Uh, I just wanted to sit down and get a different view of the tank here. This is a 75, as I said. Uh, normally, I go through each fish and <laughs> tell you what everything is. And I think that's where I get a little long-winded. Uh, so today, I'm trying not to do that. You've heard me talk about these fish before. Uh, I've got quite a variety in here. Everybody seems to get along. Uh, as I said before, the only ones that didn't get along were the filamentosa barbs because they got... Huge. I'm talking seven, eight, nine inches. They were just massive. They were stripping all my plants. They were. Uh, I didn't get as upset about that as I did when uh, my school of black neons. Uh, all of a sudden, the filamentosa were swimming around with these guys hanging out of their mouths. Uh, I just uh, went into shock on that one. <coughs> I quick set up a empty ten gallon I had. Uh, put caught them had to drain this darn tank down to a couple inches in order to catch the darn things uh as you, of course i took all the plants and what i could out but these giant pieces of wood i can't take out this is a, a giant stump up there as you can see uh, that was too big to get in the tank uh, but it's got two giant branches coming down and they are huge it's not just it goes down that way and runs over there it goes down that way and runs into the ground and it goes that way and 
runs over here to the edge of the tank. And I mean, it just barely fit in. <laughs> this is the left branch. Comes down, it is huge. Branches off back that way. Branches off over here. Goes down here. Well, it does stop there. It's in the air. But this side does not. It continues down to the floor of the tank. And there's also a piece back there that's holding that uh, piece of wood in the back. So anyway... Ooh, that was a lot of work. Okay, we're gonna run over here real quick. Uh, now these are the uh, column tanks. Let's see if I can find, yeah. Some of these guys, I tell you, after I feed them in the morning, they are go take a nap or something. Uh, he might be in the very back there, there he is. He's a pretty boy. All these have betas in them. Uh, there he is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, I've said this before, but I just want to clarify. used to buy all my uh, bettas at the uh, Pet Supermarket. Now I'm going to, I found out the day they get fish over at Pet Smart. And they're, yes, they have some expensive fish over there too. But uh, some of these, I like this guy, I've only paid $7.99 for. And look at, look at his finish. He just, I mean, magnificent. I'm not sure that's doing him justice. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful, 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 beautiful fish. Anyway, they get their shipment in on Thursdays, or at least they do in Deland, Florida. Uh, where's my guy over here? Oh, there he is right there. He's taking a little nap. Uh, look at him. Here's another one I got at uh, Pet Smart. Uh, for $7.99. That's incredible. Uh, once again, I just want to clarify, uh, I found out when they get the fish. I call to see if they're in. If they say they're in, I'm down there. And uh, I, in my opinion, if I have an opening for <laughs> a bed on one of my tanks, uh, I'm getting first choice of uh, some of these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Well, he's just kind of hanging out right there. Okay, this one also is a PetSmart $7.99, believe it or not. Yeah, really, that's my point. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not criticizing Pet Supermarket. I like them. It's where I get all my wood. Look at that piece of wood. It's absolutely breathtaking. That's one piece, by the way. Gorgeous with a uh, Nubius on it. I have another piece sitting up. Well, I've got a huge piece of uh, spider wood also gotten at the uh, supermarket. Uh, and this is sitting up in the branches of that. There's one of my autos cleaning the leaves. Uh, there he is. Look at that. Breathtaking. Now, yes, they've all grown since I've gotten them. They weren't this big when I picked them up. They were much, much smaller. Fins were smaller, not as roughly, but the color was there. Uh, this one had a blue body with a little bit of uh, red in the fins. And some of the blue of the body was drifting into the fins. He, he was just breathtaking. It didn't take me long to scarf him up. Uh, now this guy, where is he? I don't see him. Uh, well, oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, this is the fourth tank. Look at that finish. Now this is the one you've heard me talk about over and over and over again. When I got him, he was a white... I mean, white, white, white. Um, not a bit of color in his fins. His fins weren't white, they were clear. And look at him now, red, white, and blue. Now, I know you're probably tired of me saying this, but I really believe you got to make the fish happy. Uh, the, more, the happier they are, the more colorful they get. It's just that simple. I try to put, as you can see, a lot of structure. Now, there's a uh, one of my favorite... Uh, Sponge filters in the back there behind this rock. So the point I'm making is there is a lot of space back there. There's another rock running behind that holding this mound of sand up. Because I like, uh, I don't like things flat. <laughs> I want it to look like it's outside. I want it to look like it's in a creek somewhere. And that's what makes the fish feel good. Uh, they, they don't want to be in a glass box. They want to have things to move up and down and move around and it makes them feel good. And there's searching for, there's got a lot of shrimp in there. 
Okay, this is the, uh, I'm trying to move fast here. This is the, uh, where is she? Yeah, I don't see her right now. Okay, we've got a little red female butter, which I really don't see at the moment. Uh, in this two and a half. This is an Aquion two and a half. Uh, now what I've done different here is I had to trim some of the leaves off the top. They were looking gnarly. And when I did that, it was just <laughs> too much space up top. So I went in, I moved all the sand around, built the, pulled the rocks out, built the rocks back up in the corners. So as you can see, the piece of wood sits up higher. A lot of room under there for her and the shrimp to move around in. I'm really surprised I'm not seeing her. She was out and about this morning. Uh, yeah, I did a video early this morning and uh, uploaded it and said it was ready in five minutes. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's, that's not normal. So I checked it and it was had screwed up somehow. Anyway, so I deleted that one. So this is a new one. Uh, this plant was from one of my other tanks. I can't even remember where, but uh, it was... Uh, anyway, it's gorgeous and it needs to be seen. Uh, the roots are gorgeous. The wood's gorgeous. Uh, and wherever I had it, I couldn't see it very well. Anyway, so that's new. The Man, as I said, these bathers really take a nap. There's a gorgeous, uh, where is he? Oh, he's over there in the corner napping. Man, I tell you, when they get fed, they, they just like to go lay down somewhere. Well, I'm sorry he's not moving around, but his finish is absolutely there he moves. His finish is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's the one that got attacked a while back uh, from my yo-yo loaches, which now live in the 75 tank. Uh... The white part on the edge of his tank, uh, fins, is what uh, has grown back, and uh, he's looking fantastic. Now, they did not attack his body, only his finage, because a lot of people in the comments said, uh, well, maybe he was aggressive to them. No, he was not. Uh, I think I've done a lot of research, and no, the yo-yo loaches don't bother most fish, and they did not attack his body. It was the finage that was attractive to them. And they just shredded him, and he's just looking gorgeous right now. Uh, just a little different color, but that's fine. It's uh, white and white and red, uh, white and pink. He's beautiful, absolutely. He's doing fantastic. Anyway, I'm I'm tickled pink with uh, you know how I did this tank. He, I just redid this yesterday. Put a new rock there to kind of hold this mound of uh, sand back. I've wedged some of you can see that white rock right here. I uh, wedged that in there to try to keep the flow from coming down. I've done the same thing with the black rock over there and the orange rock over here. And uh, there's a rock back there trying to, you know, bridge that gap a little bit. Uh, that's what you're seeing there is the uh, uh, sponge filter behind this rock. And I like I try to do that if I have the rocks and the things big enough uh, to hide most of my filtration. Okay. A little boy here. Uh, he was actually attacked by yo-yo loaches in the fish store while I was staring at him. Uh, the I didn't really have a place for him, uh, but he was gorgeous. And I saw the uh, they had taken him out of the cup because he had been in the cup for too long, and put him in one of the fish tanks. But I actually was standing there. I was, actually went in to look for plants. And I was standing there when I saw the two yo-yo loaches go up and start nipping on his fence. So I immediately said, okay, I've got to get him. And the guy said, what are you putting him in? And I said, I have no idea. I've <laughs> but I'm getting him out of this tank. <laughs> and he's just a veil tail. I hate to say just because I think they're gorgeous. But he's only 559. Goodness. I mean, he was beautiful. Anyway, he's... I came home, put this divider, corrugated plastic divider in the 10 gallon here, and uh, he is happy now. He's got nothing in there to bother him. I've got two coolie loaches and a bunch of shrimp. Uh, and I've kind of cleaned this out a little bit today and moved things around, and uh, they can, the shrimp can get under there so we can uh, actually saw him, the beta, swim through there one day, which really shocked me a little bit uh he was checking it out but anyway he's happy this is the other side here um where's my well, there he is right there up in the well 
Come on, where are you? There you are. Okay. There he is. Look at those colors. Another one from uh, Pet Smart that uh, got there on Thursday and was able to have my pick of uh, beautiful betas. And uh, now, of course, mine lives quite a while. I'm going to show you the old guy in a second over to my right. But anyway, this has been uh, changed up a little bit. Uh, this is a piece of lava rock that I have uh, just last night glued uh, some baby uh, java fern to that I had. And because uh, I felt like it was too empty at the top of the tank. So it's sitting up on top of a piece of spider wood. Uh, this is a separate piece of wood here with Anubius on it that's propped up against the spider wood. And uh, we have uh, some crypts there. We've got a couple of uh, pleated uh, quarry cats in the back and several uh, coolie loaches. And over here, we're almost through with this tour here. I'm trying so hard to move. There's my old guy in the back there. Where, where are you? There you are. He's an old boy. I'm an old man. But he's hanging. He's been with me the longest. <clears throat> I'm hanging. See, Daddy provides me a lot of cover and some plants and shrimp and some, uh, oops, well, he didn't like the camera. Uh, the, uh, uh, Mama B. Gobi is what that was. And I love these uh, mystery snails. Some people just hate them. I, I, I think they're gorgeous. I mean, look at that. He's beautiful. And he does a job. Okay, let me back off here. This is a 20 long. It too has a uh, divider in it. We have a couple of little minnows swimming around that accidentally came with uh, some uh, ghost shrimp <laughs> that I, I got. And I mean, they were tiny, tiny, tiny. I didn't even see them until they got in there. Uh, but they have grown. And I started to take them out and feed them to my bigger fish. And uh, I can't bring myself to do it yet. These look like two little boys, so I don't think they're going to be making babies. There is a brand new... Not their baby, that little teeny one in the back. Uh, just He came in with the recent batch. <laughs> he was even smarter than that. Anyway, that's why I couldn't see them. Anyway, I don't know where the little guy went. Okay, this has got java fern on rocks. This has got some red uh, uh, dwarf lilies. This has uh, crypts over here. I've kind of moved some stuff around. This is a new piece of wood that's uh, actually, well, I shouldn't say new. It was in another tank. I just fished it out last night and cleaned it up real good, scraped it, and got all the crap off and uh, put it in here. Started to cut some little Anubias and put it in these holes. But I tell you, the more I look at this thing, the more it's I like it. Uh, I mean, I like it the way it is. Look at the holes, and it's, it's cupped up. I, I know you can't see that, but it's humped up here where it's actually hollow inside underneath uh, you're not gonna be able to see that but uh, anyway it's it's neat I, I, I think I'm just not gonna crowd it up with uh, plants I think we'll leave it alone anyway we've got uh, the crypts are doing well over here oh let me show you the new little boy this is my newest <clears throat> my female finally passed away over here this is a five gallon and he was much smaller when I got him, too. I did that on purpose. Uh, now I'm going to be frank. Uh, I, I got him. I, I had gone over to Pet Smart. They didn't have anything I liked. I went to a Pet uh, Supermarket and got him. And he was, uh, I want to say, $12.99. I think $12.99. Uh, now he's a beautiful fish. I'm happy with him. But I'm just saying, if you have the patience to wait till they get their shipment in at PetSmart, I could have gotten that for $7.99, but I'm, I'm trying not to, you know, be mean here. Um, like I said, I get all my uh, plants and uh, wood and most of my fish at uh, Pet Supermarket. I like them. They're very sweet to me, and uh, 
I have no complaints. So I just want to make that clear. But as far as uh, checking out new, uh, let me back up a little bit here. Okay. Checking out new uh, betas, you might want to look into PetSmart. That's all I'm saying. Okay, listen. I got to close out here before I get too carried away again. Uh, you all have a great day. This is Oval Warfield, uh, Oval's Fish Room. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I noticed my uh, views have just increased like crazy, and I can't thank you enough. I'm not sure what I did different or if it was just you guys uh, sharing my videos. I think that's the only thing I can come up with because I really haven't done much different. Uh, but I just want to thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, you have a great day, and I appreciate it, and uh, Happy New Year's. Take care now. Thanks again. Bye-bye.